Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial. We're here for the My Team logo and we are going to be putting the Veloce logo in the F1 2020 game. This works for all, but obviously we're going to need to download a few things. First of all, the ERP Archiver. Link will be in the description for all of these. Again, if you can, please make sure to um, to donate um, if you can because it's it, the guy's done an absolute madness for us over the years and it's well worth it. Click if you can't to um, donate. Download the latest version which is done 19 days ago as recorded in this video. Save that to your desktop and then we can now move on to the next thing. WinRAR again, like I said in every video, you should have this if you're modding um, for anything other than modding, you probably would need that. Save that to your desktop as well. And then third and finally, we need to find a logo for you guys. Uh, if you didn't have one custom made, um, you're gonna need to go to Race Department, create an account to be able to download this logo. You're gonna go to Downloads, hit F1 2020, and uh, you can find them all throughout this section. Um, most of them are towards the back few pages of this. As you can see, we've got loads of different mods here. Uh, but we're gonna be looking for logos. You can see we've got a Kimoa logo, as well as a Mugjun logo. There's plenty and plenty of logos. We're gonna download the Campos one, just as an example, um, just to show you the many different ones. So. What you want to do is just hit download, save that to your desktop as well, and then we are ready to go. So we're going to unpack the stuff we just downloaded. The first one will be the ERP archiver. Drop that on your desktop, close that, and you can then delete that. We don't need that anymore. Uh, double click the WinRAR, hit yes, and then install. I obviously have this installed already, so I'm going to hit cancel. That can also go in the bin. And then this. So most of these will probably be pre-installed, ready for you just to drag and drop. So we're going to show you quickly how you would do that. So you would go back to your F1 2020 folder in this open up your game directory uh, wherever that would be and then literally just uh, drag the F1 2020 into this folder where your games are located and then you just hit replace uh, that's simple as that and you'd be away uh, obviously we're going to show you how to do it manually for people who would have their own one for example as the more um, I'd say trickier one so you're going to open up your ERP archiver that you save to your desktop and we're going to show you how to get this done so first thing open up settings change your game directory to where the game is so some people are mostly the same. If you saved it somewhere else, it'll be different. Go to your C drive, your program files x6486, into your Steam folder, your Steam apps, and then common. And then when you open common, it will have all these things. So obviously this is where all the, all the files are housed and then where we'll be going to sort this out. But you don't need to go in there. Just go to F1 2020, click it once, and then select folder. And then we are ready to drag this in. So you're gonna open up 2020 asset groups, followed by UI package, then texture arrays, that's where all like the logos are kept. Then customization, because we change it later on. Badge underscore large. Then go to emblem. And now we have all the emblems that we have. Um, you can do as many as you want. For this tutorial, we're gonna do it over the Formula One. Everyone has that, it comes with the game. And you'll probably be familiar with the logo, in fact. That's usually what people have. So what we're gonna go is textures, import. Um, wherever you've saved your logo, in this case, our Vloche logo is on the desktop. Open that up and you can see there, bang. It's as easy as that. So we're going to hit save and now we're going to move on and show you how to get it in the game working for all your stuff. So obviously boot up your game, go to create new. Um, for this to work for most logos you want to have a empty background. You can have a shape if you want but usually a blank background is good to go. On the emblems tab you'll scroll down and you'll see your logo. You, it won't be hard to find. Um, scroll down to you find it. Um, you don't have to, it's not a ex necessity to change the colours to all white or all black or whatever but let's do it just for argument's sake and then once you've done that hit use and then obviously select what you want in this case we'll just check all of them uh, just to make it a little bit easier you can see on the top right hand corner we have it on there and on our super license we also have our logo um, obviously this will not be seen by everyone else it'll just be seen for you for your own cosmetic view and um, when you load up my team for the first time you can even do this uh, mid-season if you wanted to but obviously we'd start a new one uh, name a tutorial just like we did in the last one for the livery and um I'm going to select our sponsors, select Ragunathan, we actually managed to select him this time. Uh, we're also going to pick the Veloce logo, hence having um, the Veloce livery in the background. Uh, we'll just change our team colours just uh, just because we, we might as well at this point. But um, that's literally all it is guys, it's really easy to do, really simple, really short tutorial. Uh, again, if you have any problems or any questions, do feel free to ask me in the comments or on Twitter. That will be in the description too, but I hope you enjoyed this video guys. I'll see you in the next one for the race suits. Um, yeah, that's literally all there is to it, so I can't wait to see what you guys do. And until next video, guys, I'll see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.